Hey everyone, it's Kay. I'm coming back to you with another do-it-yourself tutorial. Today what I'm going to be doing is making these yarn octopuses. I decided since it was close to Valentine's Day, I would make something cute to add to my daughter's Valentine's Day gift basket. Um, it was very simple and quick and easy. And uh, if you would like to learn how to make this, please stay tuned. Okay everyone, so what we're going to use is, I'm going to use this um, board to wrap the yarn around. You can use whatever color yarn you want. I decided to get pink since it's close to Valentine's Day. Um, and this is a bulky yarn, size 6. So if you want to make the big um, octopus, you would want to use the bulky yarn, but you can make them smaller as well. Um, I decided to use a foam ball for the head. Uh, I saw this uh, tutorial on Pinterest. The person who did the tutorial used a tennis ball. Um, I think that she also used a, a golf ball at one point for a smaller head, so you can use whatever size you want. Um, and then for decoration, um, I did get some eyeballs. You can use eyeballs, you can pick up a mouth or whatever you want to decorate your uh, octopus with if you can. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to wrap the yarn around the, the uh, cardboard about 75 times. Uh, if you want to wrap it around more, you can. If you want to wrap it around less, you can. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started just so that you can see what I'm doing here. Okay everyone, so once we get all of the yarn, again I wrapped it 75 times, we're going to cut another piece of that same yarn so that we can tie it around at the top. So I'm just going to cut a piece off and then I'm going to, I guess I'll tie it up here. You're going to squeeze it and pull this piece of string that you cut through. And then you're going to pull it to the top and tie it up just like that. And then once we remove it, I will put another piece of yarn on it just to make it tighter. And uh, so you can see I cut this cardboard from a toy that I had for my daughter, a Frozen toy. If you if you've ever heard of Frozen and Elsa and Anna, she loves those those uh, characters, and so do I. Okay, so this is what we have. Okay, so we're going to cut through the bottom, but before I do that, I still want to make sure this is tight enough at the top because I didn't tie it as tight as I wanted. So I'm just going to wrap these around again just to make sure they're completely as tight as I can get them. Okay, so I'm making them a little bit tighter before I start snipping at the bottom. Okay, so let's fan it out. We want to try to make sure they're as even as possible so they'll all be the same length when we make sure I got my... just gonna snip okay so what we're gonna do is just cut through making sure that we try to get them as even as possible
Okay. So now we're going to take the foam ball and we're going to put it inside in between. Let me make sure you can see. So we're going to take the foam ball and put it in between. You see, just like that. And we're just going to go ahead and cover it all the way up with the yarn. Okay, that's better. So now I'm going to just go ahead and tie it up like I said before. Take that string. And just tie it as tight as I can. And I like to tie it on both sides. So So now we have a start with the octopus. So once you have those, um, once you have that done, you want to make the tentacles. Um, so you'll, you know, octopus have eight. So you want to take these and separate it into eight and then do your braiding. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to split it in half. I'm going to do four braids on one side and four on the other. So, and you just try to make it as even as possible. So if you can see, to do a, I can't, I'm not gonna explain how to do a braid. Hopefully you already know how to braid. You just separate it in three. You're gonna take the outside in, take the other outside in, and you just keep taking the outsides and bringing them in one at a time. Let me see how I can show you all how to do this. Okay, so again, we separate it into three pieces. We take the outside in, take the outside in over that one, outside and bring it in over. And you just braid it to the bottom, braid it to the bottom. And then I'm going to take this yarn here and just wrap it around and tie up the end so it doesn't come loose. Just like that. I'm going to double knot it so that it won't come loose. And there, you see, there's one braid. And we're going to trim the ends when we're done. So they'll be even. Okay, so I'm gonna braid the rest off camera and then I will come back and show you when I have all eight braids. Okay, I'm back y'all. I did um, go ahead and braid, so I just wanna make sure that everything is even. So I'm just gonna snip, you know, the ends just to make sure that it looks as even as I can get it. Okay, so here we have our octopus. It has eight uh, tentacles. And um, now you, you can decorate however you want to decorate it. I'm just going to glue on some eyes, as I mentioned before. And I, I have some pom-poms that I had already made. Um, I have another video where I show you how to make uh, pom-poms in, in great detail. Um, so I'm not going to go over that here. Um, and uh, I'll link it down below. Uh, it's a pom-pom reef tutorial. If you click on that video, you will see in detail how to make a pom-pom. And I'm going to, my daughter loves Doc McStuffins, so I'm going to put a bow on her hair as well after I put the glue the hair on. So you can just watch if you like.
Okay, everyone, so here she is, a cute little octopus with the little legs, and I just glued on. If you have a mouth, you can put that on. I've seen someone put a hat on theirs, but this is what it looks like. Isn't she cute? So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you do like the video, please like, comment, and please hit the subscribe button. That will really help me out, and I thank you for watching. Bye.